I'm gonna show you five websites where you can get color palette ideas and color combinations, AKA color generating web pages. So firstly, I would start with some color gradients and you can find this on coolers.co slash gradients. And it's going to bring up a huge gallery of gradients. And if you move your mouse on these, you can see it is going to show the hex code from the gradient, the left and right side. You also can click on the three dots open it in editor and yeah, this way you can customize the gradient and recolor it. You also have here the position. I'm going to go to zero and you also can rotate this and we got type linear and radio, which is really cool. Next, we have a mesh generator website. All you need to do is just click on get started and drag one of these little squares. By the way, you can change up the color if you like. You can click on this and choose something else and it's going to switch it up and you pull. Click on continue and this is going to be the final design and here you can modify it live. Nice and click on continue. Here you modify more and you can click on export here and download the color mesh. Next, there is a really interesting color generator website, which is called humint.com. And also it creates these really cool mockups where it's going to apply the colors so you can see how it's going to look on a full identity system. You also can try it out with one color. So it's going to create two color, generate with two color combos, two color. So this way it's going to create three or three color and this way you got like four color combos. Here you also got the website option. You can check out the magazine and look how good these look and it's going to show up on the website in different kind of color nuances. Again here you can have one accent or two accents or three. Check out these color combos how good they look. How I see there's also like this illustration. Here we got like six color and it's going to present you in these vector illustrations. I'm going to go to illustration three and we got a lot of color combinations here. You can generate and look how good these look. So this is a really complex. It really helps you with a lot of color combination and different kind of uh, branches in design. Next, we got the palettemaker.com. Here's a similar story. You can create your palette here and it's going to show up in all kind of formats. And you can click here on generate and it's going to generate new colors or you can go and select here on the left and see on these images how the preview is going to look like. And I think you can generate separately also. Start generating. Look at that. It's going to highlight one of these images and it's going to show multiple color combinations, which is really cool. For example, I'm going to go with this one and I can click on this export and you can export the code or the image. There's another really cool page, which is called pigment.shapefactory.co. Here you can test out the color contrast. So for example, we got yellow and perp and you can see how the purple is going to look on the yellow or how the yellow is going to look on the purple. And you can also change up the colors and it's going to give you new results. And if you click, it is going to zoom out. Let me check. We got pigments. If you increase or decrease the pigments, it is going to decrease or increase the saturation and the lighting. Yeah, it's pretty nice. You can click on this uh, color palette and wow, look at that. I'm going to go with the orange and it's going to bring me like orange color combinations. It's pretty cool. And not but least, we got colorful gradients from Tumblr. These are just image combination with gradients. You can download and apply, you know, in Adobe Illustrator, for example. You also got here color and color or colorful circles. And it's a really nice color collection. Basically, these are mainly the websites you can check out and extract some new color combinations. Thanks for watching.